Welcome to a tutorial on installing Sandia Structural Toolkit's macro version. This is for running MPI programs. I'm going to start with the assumption that you've installed CentOS 6.3 64-bit and you've just run the update and upgrade commands. So we have a current operating system with all the packages needed. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install some packages specific to uh, SST macro. These, these include uh, GCC, C++, AutoMake, LibTool, Mercurial, ZLibDevel, and Make. So hopefully you've got a fast connection. There's about 108 megabytes uh, to be installed. Eventually what I'm going to be showing you is we're going to take a sample MPI program called Ping Pong and run it inside SST Macro. here on the next commands. Alright, the installation of those is complete. I'm going to make a directory called SST Macro. That's where I'm going to store the binary. And then SST Macro HG Source. That's where I'm going to download the Mercurial uh, so source code to. And now I'm using HG clone of the Bitbucket source. ST, SST macro, and we're going to add that to the uh, directory that we created here. Once that's downloaded, it'll take a little bit of time, we're going to run the configure script. This is the script that we use to tell, uh, to get SST, the macro source code compiled, and we have to specify where it's going to be put. It's going to be put in the SST macro directory. configure. It's going to check for a lot of system variables and available commands. I've previous on a previous install I tried using graphviz. I made that available through sudo yum install, but the uh, enabled graphviz didn't seem to work, so I'm going to skip over that. At the end of the configure process here, we'll get a li list of the uh, things that it was able to detect as available. So for instance, it found our GCC and G++ compiler didn't find a Fortran compiler, and GraphViz trace is not available. Omnet++ is uh, another thing that I didn't install. Now we're going to run make. So this compilation will take uh, a little bit of time, and we'll come back when it's done. Alright, so the command make just finished and you can see the elapsed time up here in the corner. So the next command that we're going to run is make check. This will check that the things that make did turned out okay. Alright, as you can see there were 55 tests and one failure. We're going to keep on going even though we notice that and with make install. So there weren't any obvious errors here but just if we're a little paranoid we can do one more check and that's make install check. This verifies that the install occurred correctly. So the make install check was successful, and finally we're going to go into our direct, so our current directory, 
is within the source, and we're going to go back to the home directory where there is the SST macro. So in that directory, we can check that it actually worked by looking at SST. It's going to bin. So now this is showing us that the SST Mac actually works, so that's good. So the next thing that we want to do is run it. So what we're going to do is we're going to install MPI, since we don't have it installed yet. This is a fresh installation of CentOS, remember. And now we're going to install OpenMPI and download some source code called PingPong. MPI run, that command exists and works, as does MPI CC. So this is just verifying that MPI is available. I'm going to make a new directory called ping pong, and we're going to download uh, that source code. So I just downloaded from this website the source code called ping pong, and then we're, we compiled it with MPI CC, and the output is MPI or sorry, pingpong.mpi.lex. So I can run that using mpi run np2 pingpong.mpi.lex for Linux executable. And I run it. This is just to verify that the original MPI program works. We want to make sure that uh, there aren't any problems before we import it into SST macro. So we're not going to be using that. Uh, binary anymore, so just for, to decrease confusion, I'm going to remove it. And then we're going to edit the source code. So I'm going to open up pingpong.c. The first thing we need to do is comment out this MPI header file and replace it with one of our own. So I'm going to replace it with the SST macro version. What this does is it allows us to use those same the same MPI commands like MPI com rank and MPI init and we're just overwriting those or we're using the SST macro version and the next thing that we need to do is replace the main argument with again our skeleton application argument so the reason there is we've this is a normal C program main and we're going to replace it with user skeleton main because what MPI macro or SSD macro does is it has its own main function. So we're rewriting this into user skeleton main. All right, now with those two changes to ping pong, this is just a standard MPI program, which we know works. And now we've edited, edited the MPI header, the library there, and the uh, main function name. The next thing that we're going to do is to get a set of parameters. These parameters are going to live in a parameters file. So we'll edit that, gedit parameters.ini. So what these are going to allow us to do is specify the network that we're running the, the MPI program on. So here, this is a three-dimensional uh, torus with this size. So there's a, a lot of CPUs. We're only going to be using two of them, it turns out. There's four cores per node, all these other parameters here. Uh, since we were able to edit the source code, we're just going to leave this user MPI app C here. But if, the, if it weren't uh, a standard MPI program, we'd have to alter that. And we're going to be using two uh, CPUs. All right. So in that directory, now we've got two files, MPI ping pong, and the parameters I and I which were just created. So now we're gonna run, we're gonna copy over from the SST source, SST macro source, two files, uh, the make file and force link cc. And with that, we're gonna run make. Sorry, I 
forget to run. Alright, we forgot to include the path to SST macro, so we're going to have to throw that in there into our environment variable. Now I can run make. So it goes and uses the SST macro binary and compiles a new file called run SST mac. So this is going to be the binary that we run, which points to the parameters file and runs our ping pong code. So that ran inside of SST macro for six seconds. <laughs> 